This is Key's story. April 2022. A is 45 when she is diagnosed with Parkinson's. We will focus here just on one symptom, Parkinson's effects on her handwriting. May 2022. She starts carbidopa levodopa. June 2022, five weeks after starting levodopa, K is seen by a neurologist. Her unified Parkinson's disease rating scale score, part 3, motor signs, is 12. November 2022, six months into L-dopa. This is a sample of her handwriting. January 2023, she starts oral B1 therapy, high-dose thiamine. February 2023. This is her handwriting at the time. I started well, but I slowed down quite a lot the longer I wrote. February 12, 2023. Key is on Oral-B1. This is what she writes in her diary. I was able to take notes while listening to a sermon. The writing was not especially pretty, but the sermon notes is one example from that stage in my B1 journey where my ability to write quickly and maintain control of the pen was improved from anything I could remember for years prior. March 2023 she shifts to intramuscular B1. On April 5, Key writes in her diary, My writing and typing are far better than they have been in years. I noticed that I was able to jot down a few words without too much trouble, which represents a significant improvement for me. Quickness of movement, range of motion, and overall control of the pen have improved. June 2023, three months after starting B1IM. July 23, 2023, it is six months since she has started high-dose B1 therapy. My neurologist said that my handwriting sample was not something that his colleagues would think was written by a person with Parkinson's. July 26, 2023, Neurologist's Follow-Up Visit. Her motor score is 2. June 21, 2022, her motor score was 12. Most days, my whole body feels looser and less stiff than it did before B1. The way I hold myself, for example when standing around and talking with coworkers, feels much closer to normal, and I feel like myself for the first time in a long time. My gait is improved and I'm sure that my arm swing has improved. My handwriting, though it's not up to normal, pre-Parkinson's standards, has improved noticeably. Typing has also improved. I have more endurance for exercise and can move so much quicker than I could before B1. When I work out, I feel like I'm just boxing, I don't think about Parkinson's much. One day I teared up in the middle of a workout because I felt so happy to feel so much like my old, athletic self. I'm now determined to relearn how to throw a ball overhand which is a skill I had essentially lost over the past several years. I went to my son's band concert one night and found that I could clap, moving my affected hand, better than I have in years. Going for a walk with my husband one day in March of 2023, he turned to me and asked if I needed him to slow down, normally I cannot keep up with his normal pace. To my surprise, I said I felt just fine, and let's keep going at this pace.
I feel like myself for the first time in a long time. This story is provided for information and education purposes only. You should consult your physician for advice on treatment, including supplements. Supplements may interact with other supplements, medicines, and other health conditions, so check with your doctor first. Any actions taken based on what is provided and mentioned in this presentation is your sole responsibility.